I don't bring guns into the house. I really need you to stop having a go at me about it. Well, you still haven't told us what it was doing here in the first place. Will, have you even thought about what might have happened? Of course I have. So what's it for? Are you hiding it for someone? I'm willing to bet there isn't a licence on that thing. Will, you have to answer me. This is as illegal as it gets. You're an ex-con. If anyone finds out, you'll end up back inside. I can't take this. Where are you going? I'm not staying here to be interrogated. I don't think so. Move out of the way, Billy. You're not just going to run off, mate. You're asking us to lie for you. Yeah, for good reason. And that is... Look, just tell us why you brought a loaded firearm into this house. Because I was scared for my life, all right? Scared? Of who? The guy I used to work for. Well, what would he have against you? You got put away. Yeah, but now I live with the ex-copper who got his operation closed down. You don't reckon he'll be suspicious? Maybe try and come back and get me, or worse. Try to work the people closest to me. You, or Dawn and Lucas. Look, you have to believe me. Having it was insurance, that's all. But we can't tell her. We can't, it'll destroy her. You can't expect me, either of us, not to say anything about this. She'll never forgive me. Do you think I really care about her forgiving you right now? How can you say that after everything we've been oh, through? Oh, don't, don't you dare try that. I thought you changed. You promised me you were never going back to that world. And I meant it. It's that world coming here that scared me. Yeah? Well, while that thing is in my house, I'm scared too for all our safety. This isn't helping any of us. We need to decide what we're going to do. No one else needs to know. What if Lucas says something? He won't. And even if it does, Dawn will think he's talking about his toys. Well, I don't feel happy about lying to her. Look, if this goes any further than the three of us, social services could find out. Then what happens? They'll take Lucas and they'll never let Dawn see him again. You know they won't. And whose fault would that be? It doesn't matter whose fault it is. The result's the same for her, isn't it? Lucas is everything to her. You know it's true. She loses him, there's no telling what she'll do. You want her back on drugs, both of you? Of course not. Obviously, I've let you down badly. But if that... If the gun had never been found, we'd be back where we were half an hour ago. I mean, wouldn't we? A family enjoying themselves. What happened? It was unfortunate, that's all. So, look, I'm begging you to forget that it was ever there. For her sake. Billy? Someone's had nearly a bucket of ice cream. <laughs> Luckily, it was Brenda's treat. Is everything OK? Yeah, everything's fine. I'll put the kettle on. What, well, again? Aren't you fed up with that one? All right, come on, then. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a rabbit called Roderick. Thanks. Was so, always you had a good time then? Yeah. Made up for losing it yesterday, I hope. <laughs> Not that I'm blaming you for what happened. It's all right, I know. Yeah, just one of those things. No one's fault. Yeah. Get Harriet a tea. Uh, look, everything was all right, wasn't it, when I came in? Just seemed like you'd had a row or something. <laughs> You're getting paranoid in your old age, right? Like it when sure. Stole his I'm fine. Honest. One morning, Farmer Barley Mill was striding across the field with his great big gun. I don't like the look of that, thought Roderick, and he started to run. He ran 